Today, we're going to look at how to use Teleport as a SAML identity provider. Now, you probably knew that you can protect your private applications with Teleport's application access. What you may not have known is that Teleport can also act as a SAML identity provider that allows Teleport users to authenticate and authorize to external applications both inside and outside of Teleport that support SAML single sign-on. And this has been built into Teleport since 12.1. In this video, I want to walk you through how to do that with Jenkins. And if you'd like more information on what SAML is, you can go to goteleport.com slash learn. This is a library of resources that we put out to help you learn this technology and just do a search for SAML. And we have an article called What is SAML? So you can read through that to get up to speed on what SAML is if needed. So step one on getting this set up, you need to configure a teleport role with access to SAML service provider objects. So we have to create this SAML service provider in teleport. And we need to make sure our user has a role that allows them to do that. So I'm logged into my teleport team account under the user Travis admin. If I go to users, I see that I have this SP manager role, which grants me these privileges. If we look at that role, I can perform these actions on the SAML IDP service provider. And only people with this role can do so. Step two, we'll need to configure Jenkins to recognize Teleport's identity provider. So here in our documentation, we have an example with Grafana. I'm just using Jenkins today. So to get Teleport's SAML identity provider metadata, you just need to append this URL string to your URL. So I'm gonna copy that, go to my Teleport cluster, and up here, I'm just gonna paste that in. And once I hit return, it's going to save that as a file on my computer called metadata. And I'm just going to rename that to metadata.xml. And we're going to need this information as we move into setting up Jenkins. So inside of Jenkins, I'm going to go to manage Jenkins and plugins. And I'm going to look for a SAML plugin. And here's one called SAML single sign-on. So let's check that and install it. I'll go back to manage Jenkins and security. And I can change my security realm to this plugin we just installed, which is mini orange SAML 2.0. I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to configure that plugin. So for IDP configuration, we're going to need that XML data that we downloaded from Teleport. And I'm just going to enter it manually here. So first I'll grab the IDP entity ID, find that here, paste that in. Then my single sign on URL, which I'll get here at the bottom. My logout is available only in premium version. For ID format, I'm gonna switch this to transient. And then I just need my IDP signing certificate. So I'll grab this certificate here and paste that in. And I can test my configuration. And I can click here to see the test configurations result, but we don't wanna do that because we haven't set up teleport yet. So if I continue to scroll down, I can just leave all this default. The only thing you might wanna change is the custom attributes. If we look at the teleport documentation and down in the assertions, we have the UID, which is the user ID from Teleport. And then we have the EDU person affiliation, which is the user's Teleport roles. But this is a premium feature, so I can't add these, but you would do that in your scenario. And I'll show you in a minute where these are coming over at anyway. And so I'm gonna save this. And actually, let's go back to that setup. And up here where it says service provider metadata, go ahead and click that to download the Jenkins service provider metadata. So the last step here is that we need to add the service provider metadata to Teleport. And we do that by creating a SAML IDP service provider object. So let's copy this, and I'm going to paste it in a text editor. And we'll change this to SAML Jenkins. And we just need to enter our entity descriptor. So let's open up that Jenkins metadata. So here's our Jenkins service provider metadata. We do a word wrap. And I just need to grab the entity descriptor information. And I'm going to paste it here. And save this as whatever you want to save it. I'm going to save it as test.yaml. And to create this provider, I need to log in to Teleport via the command line so that I can use tcuddle, which is Teleport's administrative CLI. So TSH login. I'm going to log into my proxy as Travis Admin. Normally, I would have an SSO login or something passwordless, but this is just for demonstration. I'm using a password and a YubiKey. And to create that provider object, I'm just going to run tcuddle create and then my test.yaml. Let's enter that. And SAML IDP service provider SAML Jenkins has been created. Now, if I go back to my teleport cluster and I go to resources and applications, I'll see a new SAML application. And now Jenkins is being protected by Teleport as a SAML application. Teleport's playing the role as the SAML IDP. So to log into Jenkins, I just click Login, and I'm in. If I go to People and my user, 
You'll see that my user ID is Travis Admin. If I go to configure, if I was able to use custom assertions, you would see my roles down here and you can map those to groups or whatever you wanna do. And if you go back to dashboard and manage Jenkins in the SSO configuration, now you can click test configuration and click here to see the configuration's result and you should see the information. So now I have this attribute name and you see that my roles are coming over and this attribute name correlates to my user ID. And you know that from the teleport documentation here, you'll see the full name of each one. So teleport roles is this one that correlates to this attribute name here. And with this plugin, if I log out of Jenkins, there's a login with IDP button that I can use as well. All being managed by teleport. Hope that was helpful. Let us know any questions down in the comments or jump up here to documentation and teleport Slack channel to join our teleport Slack. Thanks for watching.